Hey there and welcome to Golf.com at the PGA Merchandise Show. I'm Ryan Aselta joined by Sean Zock and Sean and I have been roaming the Merchandise Show floor for a couple days now. It's now day two and we are showcasing a couple of our favorite things. Sean, you got shoe wear, yeah. footwear, some yeah. cool stuff. I've got headwear that we're going to talk about. So show us uh, some of the favorite things you found yeah. that go on your feet this year. I'm definitely a sneakerhead. I love shoes. Uh, first and foremost, a really classy shoe is the FootJoy 1857 Luxury Collection. It's heavy. It's really. It's it, there's a lot to it here, but it's just classic. It's it's something that guys used to wear in the 1800s. Justin Thomas wears something super similar to this. I just love the look of it. It's sleek and you got a little black and white, kind of fashionable. Yeah, very cool. I mean, yeah, Justin Thomas saw something similar on his feet last season with the that. the British Open, yeah. And the, cool, the 1857s, they've got the, the non-golf shoes as well. Mm. They got the dress shoe, they got the suede with bright colors. The only tricky part is that it's a little out of my price range. Yep. This thing, I think, goes for around $750. It is, yeah. Not exactly my price range, but for people that really want class, I mean, this is the kind of shoe you could probably have for a lifetime. Luxury, right? Exactly. Yeah, paying so, for it. So, going away from the extreme luxury end, yeah. uh, I look at a shoe from Puma that just looks a lot like an athletic shoe. This is the Hyper Adapt Ignite Leather Shoe. And you just look down at it, and it looks like a basketball shoe. Yeah. And I'm a hoopster. I love shoes that look athletic, feel athletic, and that's kind of what they're focusing on in their new line of shoes. You got a little bit of like nice gray leather uh, heather up here. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of slick. It's all white. It looks good to me. What do you think? Yeah, those are cool. And they come in gray also. Is that they come in all kinds of yeah, colors? Yeah, and those look like you can wear them you know, straight from the course into the clubhouse for a drink afterwards. Oh yeah, and I think yeah. that's the trend that shoes are going with, at least with golf shoes nowadays, is that you don't want to be getting off the 18th green and forced to go to the locker room first and take all your shoes off. Yeah, so. I'm sure we'll see Ricky sporting those around. <laughs> with that in mind, year, yeah. my favorite thing here though is uh, something that is the epitome of going from the course to a different setting and maybe even the beach or the pool. These are called Swanee's Sandals. You are flexible, Sean Zahn. <laughs> I'm pretty nimble. <laughs> Swanee's Sandals are a pretty new brand, but they're they are the first soft spike sandal that has golf spikes on them. So really, the idea is that for people who want to be super casual on the golf course, maybe you're playing down in the Bahamas or Bermuda, yeah. and you're staying in a beachside setting, and you're wearing these all day long, well, you can wear them onto the first tee. I like them a lot for that reason, not nearly as much stability, but price range is only 60 bucks. Nice. So for someone who's really casual with, the, with their footwear, I think this is probably a decent look for them. Are you going to be wearing those SB2K18 this if year? I get the You'll invite. be sporting those? If I get the invite from Spieth or Smiley or Ricky or JT, I will be wearing them. Yeah. I want to get sponsored by Swans. <laughs> from home to the course to the beach, I like that. All right. I'm big into headwear. I have so many golf hats at home. I'm kind of, I don't have the space. They're overflowing and taking over rooms at this point. Uh, but a lot of headwear out on the mm -hmm. floor. Here's a few that I found to be really cool, just design wise and kind of popping colors. First off, we know about the new Puma hats. We've seen Ricky debut this at the Hero. Them here. A lot of them. Uh, I just love the coloring on these. But uh, this is another Puma hat in conjunction with uh, Volition America, which is a great group. They raise money for mm -hmm. military families to help them uh, pursue their passions through education. And this is kind of, they've partnered up with Puma and Cobra here. They've got this camo look to it. Um, all proceeds are helping Volition America. So it's really for a good cause. Yeah. They have some clothing line to go with this as well. Some of the shoes that they're putting out has this yeah, line, exactly. we've, but we've, uh, we've, pretty sharp hat. We've actually talked about those before too. Sometimes when I see camo, it's a little intense, and I don't exactly love the look of it, but like blue camo is something yeah. you can actually wear, and it's not in your face. Yeah, I thought like that was pretty, really, really yeah, pretty out. unique. It's not your traditional green camo, it was mm. the blue. So in your face, how about <laughs> loudmouth golf? These, yeah. The new line of visors now, I used to be a visor when I had a little more up top. That's not my look anymore. Maybe it's but for me then. It might be, you got the nice flowing locks, yeah. It would work <laughs> for you. It also worked for uh, men and women. These are unisex visors. This is the sham totally rocks unisex visor from Loudmouth. This goes for uh, about 18 bucks. It's got shamrocks all over it. Of course, Loudmouth, they are loud, they are bright. This one's pretty cool. I mean, you can wear this St. Patrick's Day, Day hanging out, out and then uh, get on the golf on the course. Way. But uh, yeah, men and women can enjoy these. They've got a ton of bright colors this year, cool designs to go with their headwear. So pretty cool stuff. This was my favorite. This oh, is from gosh. a new company that I found out on the floor, and this is Looper by Anderson Ord. And uh, you see the Looper on the back. You also see the Looper on the front. 
You've got the caddy here. Now this is their nation line. Okay. Uh, this is a, a red, white, and blue. Red, red, white, and blue fitted hat. But the nation line, what's cool about it is they have a bunch of different countries here, color coordinated to the countries. And then the flag that the caddy is holding is, is the flag of that country. So I picked up the USA, which I thought was really sharp with the blue, white, and the red brim here. But it looks like a baseball cap too. What I like about yeah, golf hats is that you, can, you really don't have to just wear them on the golf course. Right. I mean, this doesn't look like a no, golf hat, it does it? No, I like that. Super comfortable too. The the one size fits all. These are twenty nine ninety five, and uh, they got a lot of cool stuff. They're at AndersonOrd.com if you want to check them out. Uh, just some of the things we found out there. It's a large showroom floor. We tried to make our way around and find our favorite things: shoe wear, headwear. Hope you enjoyed uh, some of these, and you can check out some of these uh, cool new companies out there with this golf gear.